Hey there, welcome to my video. My name is Alicia and today I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a bit of a comparison between two of my favorite Gucci bags, the Dionysus and the Marmont. They are both so different visually and they both make me feel completely different when I wear them so I thought I would share that with you guys. If you do like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe and let's dive on in. So here we've got both the bags. We've got the Gucci Dionysus Mini in the suede canvas. Obviously it's got silver um, hardware and we've got the Gucci Marmont in the black velvet with gold hardware. So these are both from the mini collection. I absolutely love them both. I feel like they are very, very different. So this comparison video will be quite interesting to see um, how these two hold up against each other. So when it comes to price, they are both pretty much identical in price. I'm in New Zealand, so these are about $2,000 each. Obviously, if you purchase them duty-free, you save the 15% GST in New Zealand. But when it comes to Gucci, they are the same price. <laughs> everywhere you go in the world, it's just a different exchange rate. So yes, yeah, so these are the same price, they are completely different. As you can see, this one is taller, but the length is less as to where this one's quite long and quite short. So when you put them together like so, so you can see the difference there when it comes to the two bags. So functionality, they are identical when it comes to their chain. Both of the bags can be worn under your shoulder and crossbody. Just doing a bit of a stretch, <laughs> but just so you can see there. So with the Dionysus, you can see that the chain goes all the way through as to where the Gucci Marmont comes to a chain, but it's also got this leather strap here, which really does make it quite comfortable to wear. Um, as to where this one, you really know it's there. Now when it comes to both these bags, you could get away with having these bags both as evening or as day bags. They can fit quite a lot of things. I feel like the Marmont does fit a lot more because when you start packing in what this one can fit, it does start making it really bulky and quite uncomfortable. So uh, let's dive in and I'll show you what fits in each bag. durability of these two bags. I've worn this in so many different different occasions. I've like knocked it around. I've been quite careless with it and it has held up really well. I just put the other one down. So it's held up really, really well. As you can see, the suede is still in really, really good condition. And in here as well, like you can barely see any wear and tear on the bag itself. This is something that just happens with all of these bags. I've watched other videos with other girls having the same issue. And I've recently been into the store and <laughs> did a little bit of a check. And yes, it is very common. Any of these bags that have the horse shoe, the horse buckle on the front, there's a huge kind of like button holding it in there, which makes that mark. So overall the wear and tear on this bag has been really good but one thing that really grinds my gears is the chain twists and there isn't anything you can do about it, it just happens. Um, because I'm always jumping between having it as a shoulder or across my body, somehow the chain just gets twisted and it just is like a normal thing now, I'm just used to it. So that can be quite frustrating, but overall the structure of this bag, it is just so strong and it can really handle anything. Now the durability of this bag, this one is still quite new to my collection. I actually haven't worn it much because I live in New Zealand, the weather is all over the place, it's like five seasons in one day, so it's really hard to get this bad boy out just in case it rains or you know, if I see a grey cloud in the sky, I won't be taking this out. Which is a bit of a disappointment because it is a beautiful bag and I would like to wear it more. But there is more on that in my Gucci Marmont review um, video if you wanted to jump on and check that out. But when it comes to this bag, I feel like it is a very precious because it is velvet. I mean, the velvet itself is wearing really well, but when it comes to wearing it out, the whole not getting a wet thing is quite frustrating. It is a bit precious. It is, it's completely different to the Dionysus when it comes to the care factor and the way you wear it. So one thing I wanted to mention between these two bags is the clip when it clips in. So the Dionysus's clip just seems to be a lot more sturdier. Um, it holds itself a lot more stronger and you can really feel it click in. As to where this one, it 
just feels quite like I don't want to say flimsy because oh, this it, it's far from it but when you pop it in and you pop it out it just feels like it's just you just have to do the lightest touch and you've opened your bag as where the Dionysus you just you get two clicks the other one just gives you one click so to get it out you got to do it you get like a two click process as well so I just feel like this one the buckle just clicks in a lot nicer than the marmot this one is um, a lot heavier than this one now that is because the chain itself is actually a chain this one is more of a hollow look um, like the Chanel bags would have as where this one is actually a chain so you can really feel the difference in weight I can feel it right now holding these up this one is definitely heavier however the canvas itself is really light so obviously looking at the two bags they are completely different it's really hard to compare um, I've had this one longer and I'm just a huge fan of this kind of classic look that Gucci are going for I feel like this is going to be one of their like this is like their forever sort of bag when it comes to the GG print all over it it is just done so elegantly and then the suede I went for the natural I went for them like the original sort of look and that's with the beige suede and I haven't had any issues with it this one as well I feel like will also be quite a popular bag to go for so when it comes to wearing these two bags this one you can get away with wearing it with literally anything it will dress up any outfit like I you could be cruising the streets in your active wear but having this will just lift it up so much this one here I do love as well I think it will lift up any outfit you can wear it with any outfit but I feel like some outfits just don't do it justice as to where this one can really make an outfit pop I think it's because of the gold hardware on the black it really stands out as to where this one blends in more with an outfit I would say so when it comes to the two they are both completely different overall I can't say which one I love more the reason I have them both is because I absolutely love them both so much but when it comes to the wear and tear and one I wear most, it would be this one here. So this one's still quite a new bag um, and also it's quite precious, but I'm hoping I'll just get over that and I'll just wear it more often. But the velvet is a bit of a nuisance. But when it comes to the two bags, absolutely love them both. Gucci makes such beautiful bags and it is just a pleasure to have both of these. Obviously, my opinion is they are both just as good as each other they're completely different when it comes to functionality they're visually completely different so it totally depends on what your personal opinion is and what works for you I hope that this video has helped you out with making a decision obviously it's a bit tricky for me because I have both of them and I love them both equally but when it comes down to it I think the nitty-gritty would have to be that the Dionysus just works better for me I'm still too precious about the velvet with the marmont but that could change because it is still new but I will definitely do a bit of an update with you guys when it comes to like those year points and talk about how the bags working for me if you did like this video please give me a like and a subscribe I will be doing videos weekly and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one see ya